Well, here we are. Welcome to episode 10 of the Daily Gear Games Dev Log. We're making a twin stick shooter of the likes of Smash TV and Xeno Crisis. Today we're going to go over some of the improvements since last time. Well, as the headline says, Tanks and designing a boss fight. So before we begin, please follow our Twitch channel, and while you're at it, subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you can rewatch our content and check out our live streams. Let's get started. So the tank. Yesterday I was working on a sprite, and, and I wanted to make it a tank. I only finished about half of it, the tank bottom. And then I just threw a bad guy on top of it and made a simple tank. But it didn't shoot anything, it just moved. So I made a, a turret today. And that turret works, and it's uh, set up in a way that I can use it for other things. Um, other bad guys that will be able to shoot in various directions in a somewhat randomized manner. And so we have that too now. And it's uh, pretty good. I'd say it does exactly what we want it to, and I can configure it. And that's, that's the best way to go about these things. So, the best way to start is to show it off, then we can talk about it. So let me show off what we have so far. Waiting for it. There we are. Double kill. No, it's not being shown are some of the new weapons what I'm it'll take me a moment but I'm going to add the laser gun which was already an existing weapon to the weapon spawner because we're spawning guns but we're not spawning any money or anything or sorry any um weapons and stuff so let's we're not supporting the right types of weapons like the laser gun there we go and then I also think the shield gun spawning makes sense now makes it easier to demo that all right good so we added those two guns I'm also going to add them to the uh, second level so we can actually show off those weapons during the stream an easier manner so I'm trying to find the shield gun shield there that is we'll put in the shotgun and yeah, I can't see anything yet because I don't want to show unity right now don't want to reveal anything all right spotted so those things that should make it easier for me to do a demo Yeah, so we've we've updated the um, the guy that explodes after a short period of time um, a couple ways. One we made is when you shoot him, he flashes white. Um, we have it to where his health will transfer. So, for example, let's kill this big guy. First. So he has like five hits. 
I might have to go to a different different uh, level to demonstrate it. There's so many guys here. Yeah, let's go to a different level. Okay, here we go. This will be a little bit... Oh, yeah, we're showing off everything. So, there's a lot going on in here. We got the shrapnel guy, which one? <laughs> Killed him. Uh, let me reset that. So, I'm going to shoot him a few times. One. I still have the grenade launcher. That's... Okay. There we go. So, I'll shoot him a few times. Two, three, four. Four times. Okay, that's five hits. Soon he'll start shaking. He's shaking now. Boom, one hit, dead. Alright. That's fun. So now I have the turret guys up here. They're flashing properly now. Now I have a tank guy. Ouch. And he's... The turret's not done. I, I want to have a kind of a turret he's spinning around and shooting. So you can kind of have a slight preemptive part where you know where he's going to go shoot or like you know, be aware of where he's going to shoot so there's a bug that off the fix slider you shoot him and he blows up so those are some of the updates so far I've added a uh, double damage Global. I've gotten the chain explosions to work. This is pretty sweet. So, you wait for these guys to kind of pile up in here and then, boom, just clear that entire wave. Probably need to decrease the uh, delay on the explosion damage. Yeah. There it is. Some cool little updates. So, today I was thinking that we could spend a little time talking about this boss fight design. So, how are we going to do this? Today, I think we could do this by simply, oops, simply just taking out a uh, sketch pad here and drawing out some of the things I think would be good for a boss fight. Start with that and then see where we get. So, first off, you want your first boss fight to be easy. So, you got the idea that you can have your boss fight. You do this big, he moves in many directions, he shoots things, he does attacks where he moves his arms or legs and he attacks, he dashes at you. These are all like tough elements to have. And your first boss fight's really rough. Some games will do it where the first boss fight is extremely hard and you're going to lose it no matter what. Um, some games will do other things. For me, I want this to be like a simple tutorial boss fight where you're not really having to deal with much. Um, in this case, he's just a big dude. He's not going to move into you. You've been dealing with bad guys that move into you the entire game. Except for the, the grenade guy. But this early in the game, you might have only fought, like, the swarm dudes. So we're not going to do this. We're going to create a stationary boss. And he could be something as simple as a, a machine that you need to blow up to halt some sort of experiment and there are security guards that come out or auto gun turrets that can shoot towards you oh. 
And then you could have some things where guys come in and, and try to stop you. So just regular units. Just like a few at it, like two every like few, like maybe 10 seconds or every five seconds and another guy comes out. But you got to blow up this thing on the top. And it could have many phases to it. Well, first you got to blow up the front part, then the back part, then the middle. So you could do something like, like this, where it's a big box and there's an outer casing here. You break this. I think we can have it be kind of a diagonal thing. Like this. Break off the front part. Now there's a thin layer of glass here. You got to break that. Then you get into the meat and potatoes of the machine you're trying to destroy. And then here you have another wall. And then maybe here you have the core of the thing that you're trying to blow up. And each time you break one of these, something happens. And, you know, you're not trying to avoid the boss, you're trying to avoid projectiles. So basically, if you shoot up, you're pretty much going to hit the boss during this fight. It's very easy. He could take up the whole screen. Okay. Something that I could add is a kind of a segmented, let's get back to zooming in, segmented HP par where there's the, there's sections to it. And this one matters and the rest are just kind of like armor. And as you shoot it, it starts decreasing. And you get down to here and you've destroyed the boss. Some games will do it where you don't even know what health the boss has. But they add visual indicators. Smash TV had it where that parts of it would destroy. So his hands would blow up. Both of his arms. Then his head would blow up. Then he'd just be some tractor thing tank thing and then he'd blow up and then it's just the head in the tractor and so that's what we can do here is we can have it to where there's parts that are destructible so to make that you gotta draw something big and I was thinking I could do it in steps to so first I could draw the final part then I could draw the place before the final part the place before that and just keep layering pieces on until I have the whole thing and then I can make that into an actual boss fight. Okay. So I think the best place to start... with that would be to open up the floor template will export a we'll keep it like this actually excuse me just get the dimensions right okay so Thinking, let's see, we can draw a, kind of a rectangle here. So the computer room boss fight thing could be this big, 
and it could have a wall barrier thing that you cannot cross in this level like that so then you can't just go here and try to kill it now i could instead just have it to where if you go here you're gonna like take damage but i don't want it to just cover the top of the level maybe i could have it cover the top level i don't really have a good reason to not it just covers this whole space Let's see how big this space is. According to that, it is decent sized. That's not actually tall enough. There we go. There we go. So this could be how big the the boss area is. I want to keep that stuff so I know what I'm working with. So I could just draw parts of it in here. Um, that each section, you know, you blow up a part of it and you keep blowing it up until it's it's dead. So then your character would walk in and he's right in the middle of it. This could be like an engine room, control room, some power room. I might be better off just saving this as boss fight so I have the layers and then I know what I'm working with so let's get everything else locked He's gone. Okay. I'll draw it on top of this area here. Thinly veiled front part, like ar armor here, and then glass, and then areas just right open to the core. So the glass, I I just I was thinking that the glass would be like this. Kind of like that. Or not the, this is the armor. Okay. Then behind that you would have kind of a weaker barrier. And then behind that 
you'd have actual things that weaken the boss. So we'll just do squares for those. We've got something here, 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 maybe here. Behind that, we'll have something that really matters. And then here, to have the last main part and then the final destructible, which would be probably this big, so you can actually hit it. Okay, so there's your outline that I'm going to fill in. Then we want to have things that will attack you. So in each one of these layers we should have some sort of turret thing that you only can stop it from shooting once you destroy it. It's a lot of turrets. That's probably too much. So we'll decrease that. One two, three, and then, oh, Rao, I've been doing this whole thing. <laughs> uh, okay, so, my bad. Showing in front of a live studio audience. Um, so what I've been doing is I've been outlining the, um, the boss fight. Wow, so you probably haven't, you didn't see any of this. I uh, also was showing a bit of this. Well then, somebody could have spoke up, and they did. <laughs> so what I was thinking is, the first boss fight is something... It's at the top of the screen. It's some stationary thing. It's not moving around. A lot of boss fights that, or a lot of things in the game so far are moving. And then they hit you, and that's how you get damage here. Instead, I was thinking you'd have like this machine, and then it's okay. <laughs> I um, I'll go over it again, anyways. So I was thinking of having this big monster machine thing up here something that you need to destroy and I was I was going to go with a machine something that is provoking or preventing some sort of progress like it's something that's provoking the um the the attack or something that's um preventing you from stopping the attack and it's our our machine so this is this is how you're you get stuck in some ways that you're in between is it the right thing or the wrong thing at this point so you're attacking this thing and it has uh, multiple layers to it that each each of them will have its own destruction it, uh, I think it'll have an explosion you can blow up each part there will be guys that come in from the left and the right screen side of the screen not frequently just every once in a while there'll be like one or two dudes and then There'll be some guys up here shooting at you. You'll, you'll have to kill them. There'll be some turrets that'll shoot at you. And you're going to try to destroy this thing. So the first thing it has is a layer of armor. You're going to break the armor. And there's this like, thin layer of glass around the internals of this machine. You're going to destroy each part. I was going to put some auto guns that would spawn only after you break a certain section. And eventually you get to the core of it and you want to destroy the core part, which is up here. And once we got done with all that, I was starting to kind of mock out what I think it should be like. And now, to me, I think it would be good to have some source art to work off of. So, you can have like a mega computer. What are those? Yeah. Supercomputers. <laughs> I 
well, I guess they're just blocks. Something nasty like this. Just a bunch of technology. You can even put like one of these weird desks in front of it. Put a desk here with computers, which you know you could blow up in like two seconds. Probably want to put the desk. I guess what I could do is I can make it to where you come into this boss fight from the bottom, which makes more sense to me. Since you're arriving from the bottom, the bad guys will not come from behind you. Yes, I actually can do that today fairly easily. So I have some sort of desk here that you can easily destroy. Just got a weird phone call. <laughs> Anyways. Or, I don't know. The phone rang. I couldn't tell who it was. Okay. We'll have to check that later. Okay. Back to it. Um... Trying to remember where I was. Okay, so now I need to draw this thing. Um, I could make the lab beakers, like you're saying. That's a good idea uh, to make it more, make those tables make more sense. These desks are just going to be kind of those ones with computers and stuff on them. Um, you know, just a destructible. It doesn't really matter. Um, so why don't I start filling out some of this? So like a wall or a barrier thing. The way we're drawing like things going up, we don't have much of an angle in the way that we've drawn the uh, level. Like there's no angle here or over here. So I have no reference for the the like the depth or angle, whatever. But I did make a tank, and the tank is at this angle, like this. Um, for example. The lines are like that. Some of it is, at least. So that means that there's an opportunity here for me to say, okay, well, I'm going to prevent, present some sort of depth here. But the angle is so, with that tank, it's so far. It's like that. And that's just going to be crazy to work with. Because then the level goes up like that. Does it? Let's look at this. So the angles, the floor goes like that, but the ceiling still goes straight up. 
So then I would maybe have to angle everything else. I'm not going to do all that right now. I'm going to draw some simple stuff for this and go from there. So first we can just take this outline here. The idea is if I'm going to create a wall, I want to know when it's going up and when it's going down. That's, that's what I was thinking about. Things look like clown noses. This is going to take quite a bit of time, actually. All right, so let's get rid of everything else that we don't need to see right now. Also, we're going to Okay, start using my own palette instead of this pre one, pre given one. So this is actually a good line here on top. Put that on both sides and actually be fine. Okay. So these turret things, I don't need to actually have these here. The idea is I'm going to draw, what I should draw is the full thing, then the broken thing, then the next broken thing, and just keep, keep going. Okay. 
Okay, so this is supposed to be some sort of armor. I want to... Make some depth here. Go to there, come straight down. Fill that in, that. Okay. Take this, fill that top part. And look at that. We now have a fake wall effect. Take another one of those, copy it, paste it. Where did it go? Okay, good. It didn't go anywhere. Okay, what are you doing? Why are you not copying? There we go. Okay, let's try this again. I want to copy. It's the marquee tool. I'm pasting, but it's not, so it's not copying. I must have hit some option that I'm not aware of. Just makes some sense. Okay, I'm going to reload the um, the application because I think it's something's wrong with it. It's supposed to be able to go like this. Copy. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, audio cut out, it should be back. 
Can you hear me? Okay, great. My sound is low. Which sound? My microphone? Testing. I mean, it says I'm... It says it's working. I don't... You have me all the way up, but it's not... I don't know. Testing, testing, testing. Same level. Test, test. Okay. I can hear myself. Now we just hear more background sound. I can increase the audio level. How's the audio now? Has it increased? What about now? I'll just put it at 10. Okay, is that good? Hard for me to tell. Test is pretty loud. Okay. Well, here we go. I hope this works. Has it been like this always, or is it just today? Testing. Yeah, okay, so I have to do a lot to make it loud. Headset microphone. Testing. Test. Weird. It's weird because I haven't changed anything. But yeah, it did randomly turn off at some point. Okay, whatever. Excuse me. It might be falling apart. Who knows? All right, back to this. So I'm in the process of making uh, the first barrier. This one's going to be pretty easy to make at the beginning.
You know what? I should make this taller. For that much. Okay. So that's your first barrier. So we're going to leave that. Lock that in place, going to create a new layer. We're going to call that a concrete barrier. Then we're going to make the glass barrier. Which will just be a different color. Maybe something like this and a little bit of that, that, that looks decent, okay. So this is going to be in front of that, let's move it up, so whatever I draw in the glass barrier part, Delete layer, delete layer, delete layer. Let's delete that one as well. Okay. So we got a concrete barrier, which should be the most forefront layer. So now if I draw the glass. Let's pick kind of let's pick this color and we can reuse some of these other colors. So I'm going to make a filled in glass wall like that. Which is about that thick. I need to erase all of this stuff up here. That's not actually used. Can you hear me? Probably can hear me, but am I am I good? This is a audio stream where we test out the audio. I hear white noise in the background. Peaking a bit. Hmm. probably turn down whatever I turned up. Okay, well I turned it completely down. I'm back to normal. Oh good, I fixed it. So that's great. Alright, now we get the glass. <laughs> yes, death. Alright, so with glass It's like, do I see through the glass? I want to see through the glass. So how do I make it glass without just putting a bunch of transparencies? You know, I could tra make it transparent. And you can see what's through it. But you need some way of knowing we're, we're looking at glass here. So you got to add some 
element of border a good border here could make it obvious that it's glass Maybe some glimmer. Then you just delete. Delete a lot of it. Pretty much everything that's So I want to just get rid of, oops, I want to delete all of that. And that. I think the way I'm going to make the glass look thick is so I have this like white color and it's just too, too, or not white, this, uh, cayenne color. I need something maybe like that that I can put in here. To make it look more like it has more depth. Okay, so to make this look like have an actual, like it feels like there's actually glass there, the glimmer helps. Um, the glimmer shouldn't be touching here, so let me just get rid of that. Maybe make this one a little bit thinner. There we go. And then one next thing. What is the next thing? Next thing is to draw something behind the glass barrier. So we're just going to put boxes, just, just going to do a few um, red filled in boxes real quick. Okay, so guessing that, there we go. Okay. There are techniques that I could use to kind of give more of an effect. You could do dithering, but I, what I do not want to do is to have, uh, you see this alpha layer here? I don't want to use an alpha layer to give the effect of something that you can see through. It just, to me, it's cheap. Okay, so we have our glass barrier. We have things behind the barrier that aren't anything right now, and they're just there to demonstrate the effect. Ooh, look at that. I'm missing some, uh, some stuff on the concrete barrier here. There we go. So we got glass. Um, the glass can have multiple frames that demonstrate it's cracking. And same goes for 
this big block in front. Okay, so before we move on, let's make this probably that tall. This is the 85th pixel down. There we go, concrete barrier. This yellow thing, don't need this here. All right, so now we've got to put some sort of computer server style important piece of equipment here, like some server racks. You know, if I didn't delete the the wall here, it would actually have been useful. One second. Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to take the, the walls from this, paste them here. Okay, so then I want those pasted in a new layer. It did put them in a new layer. So I can make that, um, that style here, and then we'll take all this stuff, paste it in as well. down there. Okay, great. So now I have um, a background that I can work off of. Hmm. It didn't move them all as a group. Okay, so we got our walls. That can stay. Bottom door, top door, door on the left, windows, door on the right, boxes are behind the glass, glass is in front of the boxes, concrete is in front of that. Okay, <laughs> that makes it easier for me to get an idea of what we're building here. So what I'm noticing so far is that this is just not, it's not in the right spot. It needs to be moved down a little bit. So I think I can, yep, I move it down to about here. Oh, that's kind of cool. move it down to about here and the, it still looks like the glass is connected. Okay, and then I want the glass barrier as well to move down about there. And these boxes can move here. I think, I think that's a good effect actually where you can see more and less of the boxes. All right, so I've got my boxes, I've got the glass, I've got the concrete, 
So then I could say the interior wall. This is the last line of defense wall, which I'll draw with maybe this. Let's make a new color. So let's see what we got. We got. I want it to be kind of an orange, a dark orange color, like a brown dark orange. Okay, so this is like this, that, and that. How about I'll draw this one. Go to the halfway point, marquee, copy, flip, and we'll move that to the right. There we go. So that's the last wall, last line of defense. Then the actual core. We want the core to be this color and like a red. Maybe that red would be good. And then some blue. And I like this purple here. Okay. We're going to use a circle. Then we're going to... So let's start with big circles and then go to small circles. So I'm going to do a orange... No, uh, a red to orange to blue sort of setup. big circle, want a smaller ring in the center, <gasps> it's a monster. Okay. Sounds like somebody's pounding on my house. Okay, so that's not the final thing. But yeah, maybe this thing could move and shoot at you. Good enough. So we'll turn off the core and the interior wall, and we'll keep those things. We want to get rid of the stuff that's in front of us, the glass barrier and the concrete, so I can see these boxes. Glass barrier is fine. No. Concrete tells me where my limit is. If I, had, if I add one more line here, or maybe I could just think of it, it's that pixel right here that I can't go past with the boxes. Okay. What's the point of all this? You know, I'm just reorganizing shapes until I think I got something I like. Maybe it's a little uniform.
Okay. Two server computers. <laughs> the triangle block goes in the square hole. Um, I'm thinking two server computers, a sitting terminal station, and then these side things are like big power supplies that could have cords coming out of them. Cords coming out of them that plug into the wall and then plug and they plug into the things around them. You know what? I think my microphone, my headset turns off automatically when um, every once in a while. And I think it, it turns off when I'm, not when I'm quiet, but when there's no audio coming in. Um, I wonder if... Okay, am I echoing? Can you hear me like, if you hear an echo, let me know. I'm going to keep talking like this. I can hear it, which is okay. But if you can hear it, then it would be a problem. Okay. It's better too. Now I know, now I know what I sound like on stream live. So, huh, you can't hear me. Can you hear me talk? You can hear me talk. Yeah. Okay. What about this? Can you hear me now? Now? Weird. Okay. You got an echo, okay. Testing. Can you hear me now? Oh, it's because it's outputting at a lower volume when I have it this set up like this. All right, whatever. You can hear me good now. Welcome to a horrible stream about audio. Okay. So anyways, we've done a lot of this. I mean, I'm sure we have people who have just shown up and they may not even know what's going on at this point. And it may be worthwhile to just kind of show a little bit of what we have um, for the sake of the viewers. So I'm going to do a quick... Um, actually, let me load up the game. I'll do a quick, quick run through of what we have and then re-explain what we're about to do. So... I'll show you a little bit of the combat, a couple of explosions and things like that. Then we're going to jump back into um, the process here that we were in, which is designing a simple boss fight. Okay. So I'm making a game that's similar to Smash TV and Xenocrisis. Double
got some weird tanks. And then that's not anything yet. We got a little bit of a demonstration of explosions. Satisfying. So, something I promised to have would be a boss fight for Friday. So right now we're ma making a mock-up of what would be considered a uh, computer room. And it would be... This big mainframe that is blocking your ability to get to the next tier of access to the complex that you're in, that you're trying to um, save some scientists from and also stop the end of humanity because this monster has been unleashed. Um, the monster is chasing you and this is preventing you from getting deeper to find the information you need to stop it. So here we have a concrete wall that uh, protects people from getting past a certain point. And then behind that we have some protective glass just to keep other things from getting in there. So you have to break both of those before you can fight the boss. But the boss can throw stuff at you in the meantime. I was thinking of having some turrets about here. And here, that would just be the main problem for you. And so they would rotate, shoot from that direction. But for now, we're going to work on the boxes. So these boxes, are they're not boxes, they're servers. So I'm just going to say, like, electronic components. Okay, what is this? User data. Interesting. Get rid of the glass and the concrete. So these are going to be server computers. So to draw those out, they're basically towers. You know, so they have like a little bit of depth. They go up. They go across. show that depth I'll probably have to use another color probably I will have to at this point okay and they're not going to be red I'm just that's what I'm using right now there we go so that looks a little bit better one two three Okay, and usually these things are going to be flashing. Probably will have some sort of lights that I'll make blink. Blink on, you know, the typical hard drive lights. Well, 
Well, that's already looking pretty sweet. Put a little bit of darkening on those consoles, but for now, you do one, two, three of those. Already make it look way better. Get rid of that one. Maybe we'll do uh, one of these flipped like that, and this one can be flipped too.
moment. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what, what to make the power supply look like. And I, I have some ideas. Now power supplies usually have a fan. So I want to have some sort of fan, which means I have to animate the fan spinning. And yeah, this sort of thing where it says how much power is being used is always, always nice. Um, I need some obvious indicators that it's a power supply. Could put like a strip of something here. I don't know what that is. Ah, uh, okay. Oh wow. So it just allows you to move that a little farther along in your computer. Neat. Okay, so... Aha! These things have handles on them. I could add handles to the computers here, but I mean they look kind of good. Maybe if I had the handles like right here, you know, something. Like that, but I feel like the usefulness of that diminishes pretty quick. Like it doesn't doesn't add much. If I could put it on there and not take away, it would be good. Okay, so the the power supply obviously it needs depth, so we're gonna add some depth. It's probably one of the bigger pieces of equipment. So I'm going to go with more depth, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, there we go, okay. Okay, that's good enough for now. Big old block. So then it needs fans. Could put the fans on the front. A lot of spinning would be going on. You want the air to go out. Well, you're going to blow the air towards your equipment, which would be stupid, right? Because there's a glass barrier right here. And actually, one way to make this barrier make more sense I'm not doing, I don't think I'm going to keep this, but it's like if I drew kind of a a slightly curved line like that. Then I could add here on the front some sort of thickness line, and that would make it really obvious that it's thick. I like the line. But I, I just not ready to commit to it. But I know once you blow up the concrete, you need something there. I'm going to keep it for now. Problem is I just drew that on the electronic components layer. Problem solved. All right. So now we have kind of a sim simple line for reference for later. Now we want to delete that line from this frame here, which it should have not been put into. Excuse me. Okay.
Okay. I think it's time to leave this, come back to it later. Getting a little tired here. So I'll, I'm going to end the episode, but I'm also going to start another recording just to do a quick overview of uh, setting up a development environment for HTML and CSS to uh, rapidly do development. Save yourself a lot of time. So I'm going to do that in a moment. All right. So before we end the episode here, if there are any questions, feel free to ask them. Um, and if not, we'll wrap it up for the evening for this segment. So as I uh, promised, I'm going to release a boss fight this Friday. And right now I am developing the graphics for the boss fight, um, which I will then use to create a tiered boss fight, which will take a little bit to destroy. And then once you beat the boss, you've beaten the first segment of the game or first level. Okay, so thank you for watching. And next time we'll be doing a dev vlog of uh, progress of the next day. So we'll keep doing that. We'll give updates on the boss fight. And we might even do more design processes here. Uh, or designing live. So we're live every day, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. Um, remember to uh, give us a quick follow on Twitch and subscribe on YouTube. So this is Scare Games uh, signing off.